Today we're going to be going over flat seal and flat seal is permissions with flat packs. I've been using this a lot on my Steam Deck in places I use a lot of flat packs, but almost every single Linux desktop I am using flat seal because I do use flat packs for Discord and maybe some apps I don't quite trust because Discord after all has a pretty questionable track record when it comes to tracking their users and what you say on there and what gets reported to whom. Ah, it just makes me a little weary, but that's okay. That's where Flat Seal comes in. Let's get on the desktop and look over old Flat Seal. Let's launch into it. We can install it through a little cheat sheet on Christodis.com. You can install it through a flat pack itself, or if you're on Arch, you can just do your AUR install Flat Seal. Doesn't matter. But once we launch into it, you have all your flat packs. On this desktop, I don't use Flatpak very much just because I really only use it for Discord for kind of sandboxing it. You can give it access to parts of the system. Right now, it's sharing the network and IPC processes. It has access to X11, which I don't really use anymore. It's mostly Waylon, which I have blocked, so it can't read other windows. I kind of like that. But if I wanted to limit it down and let's say even I was worried about X11, I could turn that off as well. Give it access to devices so it will see what's connected in here specifically webcams and mics i kind of would need discord to use in that same realm bluetooth like whether you have a pixel buds or apple airpods i think it is you know if you're got that much money fine you can connect to bluetooth and share that uh and really the big thing the selling point to flat seal for me is the file system I use this all the time. So let's say I wanted to add a specific folder to share through Discord and I want to make sure. Let's say I wanted, hey, I don't want it to access to those download folders. I want to just give it to the downloads from my user folder like that and maybe add another one, let's say documents. And then I would add those two folders that now Discord would have access to. Now, you may have noticed these little caution symbols. That means that this is not the stock setting. By default, it sandboxes Discord pretty well, but I changed these and added them. So you can see what modifications you make. And that's true for up here too. Like you can see, hey, it's giving access to the whole home folder that way. We don't want that. So let's, let's remove that. Uh, but that's really powerful. So I love that aspect of things. Everything else in here, not the, too much else to report. I usually would just do that. Or if you change too much, you're like, oh crap, I don't know. You have this reset button up here. You can just click reset and it just says, okay, we're just going back to stock settings. And that sets that flat pack up. So next time I run Discord, I'll launch it. It might have been a while since I've actually launched Discord. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. And right now it's not working. It might need access to Wayland because I am on a Wayland system. So let's uh, put that into here, close out of Discord and then relaunch. And it's still not working for me. This could also be I'm on a really bleeding edge system. So that could also be problematic. I am having problems running Discord. So I'm gonna run this in terminal. Just do a flat pack run and see if that gives me any problems. Okay, so <laughs> giving it access to there, it looks like it's bombing out on my display, probably because I am using Wayland. Change a couple settings, see if that does anything for me. Hey, it looks a little better. And it looks like we're back in, yay! There we go, I've got my Discord loaded up. Uh, just modifying some of those flat seal permissions. If anybody else out there is using Discord, the settings I ended up using were these ones right here, changing this to fall back on X11 system from Wayland. I do have X Wayland installed for the conversion. And that's like a really cool way of sandboxing and getting files and having access to certain things with certain flat packs. Really neat stuff. I really love it. As you see there, we were actually able to troubleshoot some of this as we were doing it. So man, I'm super happy with how that turns out. And I just wanted to just let people know about this little quick tidbit today of Flat Seal. Uh, what other systems do you guys use out there that maybe uh, I haven't seen before? Because Flat Seal, I think, has been around for a year or two. 
And I've just been really impressed with how easy it is to manage compared to just doing everything from CLI on Flatpak, which can be cumbersome because you're constantly looking up permissions where having a GUI in this instance is actually a lot better than the terminal. You, you wouldn't think I would ever say that, but it's the truth. So with that, let me know your guys' thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.